Today, I'll show you how to do your Coin EX crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're specifically talking about Coin EX and how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So, I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, then, I'll jump into the integration, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. Lastly, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources in the description. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, Coin EX was founded in 2017 and it's based out of Hong Kong. Currently, it is a top um, 70 exchange by trading volume. They have a bunch of different features, everything from your standard trading to swaps to airdrop programs to futures. They are currently um, have 700 million USD every 24 hours in trading volume and 599 coins just shy of 600. So fascinating stuff. Uh, let me know if you know, you're trading with one of their 600 almost different coins. So yeah, that's enough about them. Let's jump into the integration. So first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, make one. It's completely free. Head over into the wallet section and click on add wallet. Then we're going to type in Coin EX, and there it is. So we have two different option, options. I'll show you both, obviously. First one, we have the setup auto sync. So I'll show you where to get the necessary um, API information. And then the second one is where to get the CSV file. So starting off, set up auto sync. So we're looking for the API key and the API secret. So on their exchange in the top right corner under account, we have API management. And then from here in the top right, we're going to click on create API. So from here, we're going to type in, you know, give it a name, we can call it Coinly. And then as you can see, read is something you don't have to select, it's already selected. Uh, withdrawal and trade is not something Coinly is interested in. So leave those blank, leave those unchecked and then type in your TOT um, P code. So let me just do that. And there you have your uh, access ID. So let's go back into Coinly. That is your API key. And then you have your secret key. That is your API secret. And there you have it. Click secure import and your information is now being loaded into Coinly. It'll take a few seconds um, before it's done. Okay, so that's one route you can take. The other way is via the CSV file. So once again, add wallet, type in Coin EX. Click here and then click import from file. Now let me show you where to find um, those CSV files. So once again, on their website, which currently is being a bit slow for me, maybe it's the same for you guys, I'm not sure. In the top right corner, we have assets and from there we're gonna click on history. And then here in the kind of top right of this section, we have an export option. So click on that and you will get a CSV file. Obviously make sure that you've selected an appropriate date. So for most people, it'll be a tax year. Um, currently this is just a demo, so it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't really matter. But for you, make sure to include your entire trade history. So as long as you've had this account, so let's say hypothetically, you opened this account a few years ago, make sure to include the information from the beginning when you open that account till the date you need it for, depending on obviously the taxis and stuff like that. Um, so all your information is included. Coinly needs this to be able to calculate your capital gains and your capital losses. So that's one file. That's the spot um, CSV. Obviously, if you're doing other kinds of transactions, we also have a margin. We also have a futures. Um, if you're doing either of those, also make sure to get those CSV files as well to import into Coinly. So depending on, you know, like I said, which things you are doing, if you're doing spot margin futures, make sure to include all of those CSV files with your entire transaction history. Since this is just a demo, I'm just going to include one of the CSV files. So you would take it, drag it and drop it into Coinly and click import and then you would wait for your information to load. If you have multiple files, you would click import, you would wait, and then you would drag and drop another file, and then wait, and then drag and drop another file. All in all, it should take you less than a, you know 30 seconds to get all your information into Coinly. So once your information is loaded, regardless of which route you took, you can head over into the transactions area, and here you, know, you can see what's underneath the hood. Coinly's already done the complex part, which is calculate your capital gains and losses, but if you have any kinds of staking, you wanna make sure it's tagged correctly here. So send to pool, send from pool, I've made videos about that. If you're interested, obviously check them out. Um, then when you're happy with that, head over into the tax reports area. And here you'll get a summary of all your activity throughout the year. It's a fantastic way of seeing where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And then once you're happy with that, scroll down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And tax reports, we have a plenty. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, uh, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you give directly to an accountant and then combine it with other tax documentation to submit 
or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this video. If you need further assistance, I'm gonna leave a bunch of different resources down below. Firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different articles on crypto and crypto taxes. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section. You can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.